Okay, so we're going to improve our old content so we can serve our readers better. And in order to find which content to work on, we're going to log into SEMrush. Now, once you're logged in, you'll get into the dashboard and we'll want to go into content marketing. So you can click that one open and you can see there are a few different options here and then go into content audit. Now click on the project you want to analyze and then click on table if you're not already in there like I am here. Now there are a few options. Posts that hardly get any traffic are in the rewrite or remove column and there's poor content. This is content that's really small, so it doesn't have enough words to be even be recognized by Google. So there are a few of these. Some are logical, like a thanks for signing up page. But this one is certainly one we can look at. This is like a page with just an image and a video and no actual text. So maybe it was created to be a placeholder of some sort. Um, so either we might already have another article on this topic and you can integrate that video with it and redirect this page, or we can assign a writer to write a complete topic on this. But what I really want to get into right now is the need to update and the quick review. So the need to update are our largest posts that need to be updated once a year. And you can see posts right here that fit into this category. There are 30 pages in total. And this is the status of the page. So it's not been analyzed, not been upgraded. And the same for the quick review. Those are the slightly smaller articles on our pages and they need to be upgraded once every two years. So you can also see it's not, not actually been analyzed yet. If it's been analyzed, then it's already been upgraded and then you'll get a green symbol right here. Okay, so we know we need to upgrade this post. Uh, it's a quick review type, so you can use the quick review upgrade the content brief for that. Uh, that means we will do slightly less to it than with some of the larger posts in the need to update category. Uh, because it generates a lot less traffic than some of the larger posts. So you can spend a little less time on it. Now, if you click into the not analyzed here, then you'll get into the URL and SEMrush takes all of the content. And what you can use right here is the top 20 search queries by, and I like to use impressions. Now what this gives you is the top 20 search queries that people on Google actually use to find this article. And this gives a few ideas on what we can upgrade into. So you can see the average position we, ha we hold on, uh, on Google. This one gets a fair amount of impressions, Seto Fumi Furikaki. So if there's something we don't cover in the post in depth, then it's certainly something we can add to the post. Also on where to buy Furikaki, usually this involves adding it as a separate header. Uh, on where to buy Furukaki, for example, and then write a good few sentences on this particular topic. So we have some new suggestions here that we can check if we cover those in depth. And the next thing we can do is take this URL and then go into Surfer SEO. That's the second tool we're going to use. Now, once you log into Surfer, you can go into the audit section and then enter the main keyword we want to target, in this case, Furikaki, and paste the URL into this box. Now, when you do the audit, make sure you have the NLP, that stands for Natural Language Processing, you have that turned on. There is a monthly limit to the NLP searches you can do, so if we're over the limit already, then you can just leave that off. But with the NLP on, you'll get better suggestions. Now we can run that audit and it is running here in the background. Once it's done, you'll see, you'll be able to click on it. So while that's running, we'll go to the actual Google search results for Furikaki. Just type that in. And now we can take a look at the actual search engine results page, the SERP, because what this gives us a lot of information about what someone searching for this is actually looking for. 
So a lot of the time, Google will use special features to answer the question someone has when they search for this better. So that might be a answer target. That's a small paragraph or a bulleted list that answers the question. Uh, that might be like a map which has a few restaurants or supermarkets that, where you can buy it. We don't sell or make furukaki uh, for people to buy. So this is not really relevant to us. You might see a recipe carousel as well. So that'll tell you we need a recipe in our post. Uh, you might see an images or a video carousel. So that might be that we have to add a video or maybe some better images to the post to be able to rank in the video or images carousel as well. And you can get a sense of what the competition uses for headlines and what type of posts that they use. Also, you get the people also ask section. You can answer some of those in the post if they are really relevant to the topic. Now, the survey SEO is done, so we can open that. It gives us a content score, which is quite high already. You don't need to mind the backlinks. The internal links, you can use some of those uh, as stated in the content brief. So these are possible URLs you can add some additional links to. And the most important thing of the surf SEO is the terms to use. So these are actual terms that competitors are using in their articles on furukaki. So if we're missing some of these, Japanese seasoning furukaki, white sesame seeds, Japanese rice seasoning, we don't cover any of these topics. So they might be quite important to answering the full topic on furukaki because a lot of the competitors are using these terms. So I'm not about keyword stuffing. You don't need to add white sesame seeds somewhere in the text just to cover it. But since we don't mention white sesame seeds, we might not have covered the topic in full. So we should add a section about white sesame seeds. Is it something everyone adds in furukaki or maybe just some? I have a lot of new topics need to be added or rewritten you can just hand it over to one of our writers to add to the content if it's just one little topic you can of course add it yourself that would, would be way faster than completely assigning an upgrade topic to one of our writers now if you want to assign it to one of our writers you can use trello a trello card for that i'll explain that in another video but you can use this share button to copy a link to this uh, audit section so the writer can also have access to all of these terms to use so they can add that to their content. Okay, so now you've got all of your suggestions on extra topics you could add. We can go into the actual post, so log into WordPress and search for that article and then start upgrading the article according to the upgrade content brief. And again, if there's a lot of text that needs to be rewritten, you can assign that to a writer. If we need additional images or a video, we can assign that to video creators or image creators. Your job is to rewrite and edit the content and coordinate the additional things we need to make it the best possible post for our readers. Now, once you've edited the content and maybe assigned an upgrade to one of our writers, you can change the status of not analyzed over here to analyzed, or you can change it to in progress if you're still waiting on images you need to add or something else you need to check so you know that you're working on this one. Once you've changed the status, you can see the, the, the status change over here. So this would say in progress or analyzed, and you can f always filter on this column to only look at the already analyzed posts or the in progress posts. Okay, so that's how to use SEMrush and Survey SEO to find which articles to work on and find content gaps that we need to work on.